All right, so this next tip is a five-star expert level formatting tip. We're gonna talk about some of Excel's advanced custom number formats. Now, if you've been following along with the course, we have used some of these custom formatting options in the past. For example, when we used the triple semicolon uh, custom formatting type to make our text invisible, technically we were using one of these custom number formats, but realistically we were barely scratching the surface of what these tools are capable of. And in fact, there's an entirely different language or syntax behind the scenes that drives much more complex custom number formats. And what users don't realize is that you have the ability to format numbers based on four different conditions, positives, negatives, zeros, or text. And that's what will allow us to create custom rules that we may only want to apply to positives or negatives, or any other type of value that we've selected. Now, in this demo, I'm gonna cover things very quickly, keep things very high level. If you wanna learn more and really dig into the syntax, follow this link here. It will take you to the Microsoft Office support site where they have some really deep, really comprehensive documentation where you can learn a lot more about the capabilities of these custom formats. So in this demo, we're gonna take a look at a few different columns of data we're going to look at gross revenue, budget, and profit. And basically, we want to turn these raw, unformatted values into something like this. And basically, what we're doing is rounding down these very large numbers and adding labels like an M to signify millions. But the key is that we're not actually dividing the underlying value. It's still 3 million. We're just using a custom number format to change the way that number is displayed so that it's 3.00 with an M label. Now, one thing to note as we work through this demo, keep in mind that your numbers may look a little bit different based on your regional settings. In places where I'm using a comma to signify thousands, you may use a period or vice versa. Just keep that in mind. So we're gonna walk through each of these examples step by step, but essentially this is what we're gonna be doing. We're gonna select a column of values, we're going to launch the number format dialog box. You can use that control one shortcut. We're going to go into our custom category and apply a rule like this one here for profit in order to format those values in a way that we couldn't do with standard tools. So same story with revenue and budget. We're going to go into that custom category, write our own custom rule and transform it into something like what you see here. So common use cases, uh, maybe you want to apply custom formats to only positives versus only negatives to draw attention to certain patterns or trends. Or perhaps the most important or most common use case here is, like I've shown, to abbreviate very large values uh, with those K or M labels to signify thousands or millions without using a formula and without modifying the actual underlying value. So with that, let's jump into Excel and see how this actually works. All right, so in your pro tip workbook, head to your table of contents. You're going to look for the advanced custom formats demo in our formatting tip section. Go ahead and click the link. And what we're looking at here is a pretty simple data set. We've got about 50 rows of data looking at movie titles with gross revenue, budget, and profit currently unformatted. And what I'd like to do first is play with this gross revenue column and show a version of it that's rounded down with that millions label so that it's a little bit more readable and that we can compare numbers a little bit more clearly side by side. So the first thing I'm gonna do is actually create a duplicate. So I'm gonna right click and copy column B and insert it right next to it. I just wanna be able to spot check against my original column and make sure that these custom rules are operating as expected. So if we go ahead and select that entire column C, you can either right click, choose format cells or use the control one shortcut and navigate all the way down to our custom category. The first thing I'd recommend doing before you just start typing things into the box here is to actually look at the list of pre-populated custom options here because in most cases you have something that's going to get you close to what you need and then you can tweak or modify from there. So to get a sense for how this syntax really works, let's look at what some of these examples actually do. So the 0.00, .00 will essentially force two decimal points, whether or not they're significant values. So I can show you what that would look like. It simply adds 
the decimal point. Let's control one to get back there. The hash with a comma essentially forces a comma separator for thousands. And that's something that we will definitely want. So let's go ahead and test that one. There you go. It's gotten rid of the decimals, but it's added those comma separators. Let's jump back in. This format would apply both the decimals and the comma separators. And now we're getting into some more complex cases where we're treating positives differently from negatives. We've got labels that apply a red color to the font. If you're curious, this little underscore open parenthesis, what that's actually doing is it's adding a space equal to the width of a parenthesis for all positive values so that both positive and negatives, which are always surrounded by parentheses, will be in alignment. So just a little teaser, you know, for how complex this syntax uh, can really get. But in this case, let's stick with our thousand separator for now. And all we're going to do is add dollar sign to symbolize currency at the start. Press OK. And there you go. So we're on our way, but nothing really groundbreaking yet. This is a format that we could have applied very, very simply. So now if we want to get a little bit more complex here, let's go ahead and add to this a little bit. If we were to just add a space and let's say put a K there in parentheses, all that would do is just add a K label at the end, right? And that doesn't make much sense at this point uh, because we're still looking at the full number. We're not rounding down at all. If we want to tell Excel to round down the last three digits, we can do that by simply adding a comma after the zero. So watch these numbers, 82,300,000, you press OK, that becomes 82,300 with the K to symbolize thousands. So technically this number is correct, but it's still too large to be really readable. So instead of using the K label, let's jump back into our custom dialog box. What we're gonna do here is round down another three digits using a second comma. We're gonna change that K to an M for millions and press OK. Now we're getting somewhere. So we've got 82 million, 16 million, 17 million. The last adjustment that I wanna make here is to actually bring back those decimal points because now we're rounded off a little bit too much. So let's go back in one more time. All we need to do after that zero is add the period, zero, zero. That's gonna force two decimal points. Press okay and voila. We've got our beautifully formatted, rounded down, gross revenue values with that millions M indicator. And we haven't actually changed the underlying value. That's the key here. We've preserved the value itself. We've just displayed it in a really interesting way. And this formatting rule applies and can be copied just like any other. So we could select all of column C, head to our home tab, use the format painter and apply that same rule to column B, the budget column. And all of those conditions carry over. So now one last example, let's play with this profit column a little bit, column E, right click, head to format cells, go into custom. And in this case, I want to draw attention to any films that may have possibly drawn a loss. So in other words, a negative profit. So this is a good place to use these custom formats. And another good example of when I don't want to reinvent the wheel, when I know there are options here that will get me very close to what I need. So for instance, this one right here, it's a currency format. It doesn't have decimal points, which is good because I want this rounded to whole numbers. And it already has this red format with parentheses for negative values. And I know it's negative because it's the second condition after the semicolon. So let's go ahead and start with this one and press OK. And that gets me really close to what I want. It's showing me all of the positive profits as a traditional currency format and any negatives, in this case there's only two, as red with parentheses. And from here you could kind of tweak this as you see fit. You know, if we wanted to maybe go back into custom and make our positive numbers green, you could literally add brackets and type the word green and press OK. And there you go, it worked. It's not pretty. In fact, it's really hard to read and it's pretty ugly but that applied a green format to the positive values. And let's go back and 
you know, because that green was a little bit harsh, maybe instead of the green, we just want a plus sign for positives. And then by contrast, we can add a negative sign before the red negative numbers. Press OK. And there you go. So you can start to see all of the flexibility here for creating your own very dynamic, very complex number formats using this custom syntax. So again, if you want to learn more, make sure to head to that office support link. They've got some great documentation there. Otherwise, that's your quick primer on advanced custom number formats.